In this video, you're going to learn how to play the coordinates geometry card game. First, let me introduce to you the different type of cards. The first type of card is called the graph cards. Here, you will see a straight line graph. The second type of cards is called the equation cards. The words equation of straight line will be written on top of the card here. The blue color represents the x and y coordinates. The green color here represents m, which is the gradients. And the red color here represents the y-intercepts, which is c. This is another equation of a straight line. Is this a horizontal line or a vertical line? Yes, it is a horizontal line. And next, we have a vertical line. This is the equation of a straight line that cuts through the origin. And it has a negative gradient. The next type of cut is called the gradient cuts. These cuts have words written in green. This is another form of the gradient cut. You can identify through the colors. For the y-intercept cuts, the words are written in red. For coordinates cuts, we have cuts written in blue. Now later on, I will show you how to use these cuts here. There are four types of special cuts. The first one is a reverse cut. It means that we will change the direction of the game. Next, we have an exchange cut. Upon discarding this cut, you will put another cut underneath the pile here and then draw the top cut. Now this is called exchange. Next, we have a skip a turn cut. This means that the person next to you will not play his turn. You will skip his turn. Finally, we have a draw two card. As the name implies, the next player will draw two cards. Now, let's see how we play this game. First, each player will start with five cards. Secondly, we will turn over the first card from the draw pile like this. The first player who goes will throw related cards. If you have three cards related to this graph card here, you can throw all three cards. Or if you have five cards related to this graph card, you can throw all five cards. Now this card here is related to this graph card here because the gradient here is negative half and the y-intercept here is 2. This card here is related to this card because the y-intercept is 2. Now this card here is related because the gradient is negative. This card is related because it cuts the coordinates 0, 2 here and the coordinates 4, 0 for this card. In other words, all these cards here are related to the graph card. Let's look at another example. Now, if this card is at the top of the discard pile, which of this card is related to the negative gradient card here? Yes, this card here is related while this card here is not. Now, you cannot use these two cards here even though these two cards are related because this card here is not related to the negative gradient card here. Next, if we have a card like this, these are all the related cards because for this equation of the straight line, the graph will look like this where the gradient is negative half and the y-intercept is 2. Since C is 2 here, we can throw this card. Since this is negative gradients, we can throw this card. Now, when we substitute x equals to 0 here, we found out that y is equal to 2, and hence these coordinates here satisfy this equation. When x is equal to 4 here, we notice that y is equal to 0. You have to do a bit of mental sum. And hence, this coordinate cut here satisfies this equation of the straight line. We shall look at one final example here. Now, this coordinate satisfies which equation of the straight line? Yes, it satisfies this equation of the straight line and this equation of the straight line. Because when x is equal to 4, 
y is equals to 0. In this case, when x is equals to 4, y is equal to 4. But down here, y is not 4. Next, when x is equals to 4 here, y is equals to negative 4. And here, y is not negative 4. And th therefore, this is not the cut. Finally, when x is equals to 4 here, y is equals to 0. And this cut here satisfies the equation of the straight line here. Now, if you have no related cuts, you will need to draw one cut from the draw pile and continue to play the game by throwing related cuts. Are these two cuts related? No, they are not. What about these two cuts here? Because these two cuts here are two different straight lines, so therefore they are also not related. Are these two cuts related? Yes, because y is equal to 2, and therefore they are related. Now, what about these two cuts? Which of them are related to 0, 2? Yes, both cuts here are related to 0, 2. Finally, are these two cuts here related? Yes, because they are exactly the same straight line. Next, take note that special cuts can only be thrown alone. You cannot combine these special cuts with any other cuts. After throwing this card, the next player can start with only one card. Another rule to note is that you can start with any one card if no one else threw a card in that round. For instance, if this player here throws a card and these other players do not have a card to throw, when it's back to this player's turn, he or she can throw any one card that he or she likes. Now, once you are holding the last card, you must shout coordinates geometry. Otherwise, if your cops not doing so, you have to draw two other cards from the draw pile. Now, if no one discard all the cards after 15 minutes, the player with the least number of cards wins after concluding the last round. That means we will continue to let the round finish and then we will count who has the least number of cards. Now, it seems that there's a lot of rules here, but you will be given a summary instructions sheet here. I hope you enjoy the game. That's all.